So, welcome guys to a different sort of episode for me today. I know. No Minecraft. Okay, it is sort of Minecraft related. I've seen loads and loads and loads of comments on Facebook about what's going to happen when this new Never update drops. How do we reset it? Well, the thing is, I know that when everything moved into Bedrock, there were options for like the 360 to reset never there isn't that option anymore the only way you can do it with every across every platform that is exactly the same is starting a new world but if you are on mobile or you are on windows 10 edition you can reset the never with this little program down here this is mcc tool chest pe so I will put the link in the description below so you can go and download it yourself but if it's a realm you've got to go into your Minecraft and download a copy make sure you take a copy of that copy just in case everything goes completely wrong so you want to load up tool chest you want to open the folder and then you want to find the file yeah, your bedrock world, which I'm going to use Panda Reborn because I'm not using it anyway, so what's the point? So what we're going to do is I will go through a quick summary of what we can do here. We will deal with the never in a minute. That one is really easy. There's, we can also prune the world. So if we load up this, which should then give you the overworld. Right, I basically I went out and I did a little bit of exploring in creative. So obviously Minecraft worlds are built on chunk sizes. There's also a region which is, so a chunk is 16 by 16 blocks and then 256 blocks high. A region is 300, 300? No. It's 32 chunks by 32 chunks, which is obviously 512 blocks by 512 blocks. So what we can do is we can actually trim down the sizes of our maps to make it easier. And it takes out a lot of the size of the, the world. It makes it far easier to run. It just, yeah, it reduces lag by quite a bit. So what you would have is regions down the side here and each one represents a different region on here. So we have 1.1 1 .1 with 1. So what do we need to do? We need to go back up to overworld. We need to click that because I don't know why it got rid of it. Oh, no, I haven't got rid of it, is there? Oh, well, I'm being a bit dull today. So, every, obviously, you got all the color coordinates, so we want to keep track of which regions we need to keep. I want to keep the ones that are directly involved with my spawn, which is actually represented by this circle here. So, I think, if I'm right in saying, that is four regions, and I think that spawn island is actually on the cross of it so what we want to do is hover over each one so we've got a zero zero we have a zero minus one we have a minus one minus one and then a minus one zero so literally what we can do to prune the world which makes it really really this does really make it simple i wonder what does that do chunk the area okay i don't know i haven't really played with this properly yet so we know we want to keep let's have a look at these on the side here so we know we want to keep minus one minus one and we need to keep minus one zero so we don't need that one so all we got to do is click on 
the region we don't need to keep, press delete on the keyboard and press enter. Now we need to go through and do that. So we know we need to keep 0 minus 1 as well and 0, 0. So once that's done, we just go down through and delete each region, which should, if we come back down here and go onto the world map, should give us our four regions. So that is how you print a world. So obviously, if your worlds are far bigger, it is a lot harder. We can do prune area, but you can also use chunk coordinates. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not concentrating very well here. So that is how we prune the overworld. Obviously, we can go through and do a few more bits and pieces. You can see where all the biomes are that are loaded up. It is an incredible, incredible tool. You just need to know what area you want to keep. And always have a copy just in case you mess up completely and get rid of the wrong things. So with the never, we can do it that way. You can quite simply click on it. And can we select non-overworld? Yes. The end, no, the never. So we can select that as well, which I've loaded a load up as well. So exactly the same sort of situation. If you know you need to keep regions, you need to keep a small region in the net, in the never itself, we can go through and we can delete individually. If you want a whole reset, which comes into play when we're doing with this never update where anything that isn't loaded already chunk wise will not oh will load in with new chunks but there is no way to reset chunks that are already being loaded without going into this and deleting them so what we can do is we can select never we can press delete ah no we can't so we just go down, select each one, and just delete it. And that gets rid of the entire data for the never, and it's wonderfully reset. Now, I know it's not a particularly long video, and I haven't probably delivered it quite the way I wanted to. But if you like this video, please pre press that like button. Give me a comment if you want to see more. Uh, this tool is amazing. We can do a lot with it. There is a few ways where we can change. I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. I think if we go into level data, we can even change it. So even if you got creative for your admins, you can change something on here. I can't quite remember where. You can actually change it so you can have achievements so everyone that jumps in can have achievements and your admins have that ability to be able to use creative to help everyone else so as i was saying before if you like this video hit that like button if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you would like to see more videos on tool chest and how to do things just let me know, like the video, put a comment, just message me on wherever I've posted this video up. I will be quite happy to go through a lot more of this because it gives me something to learn as well. So until next time guys, goodbye. P.S. Remember to save it and then upload it again if it's a realm. Take your realm offline while you're doing it, post, upload it again, and then put your realm back on, otherwise people are going to lose a lot of data. <laughs>